And so when you hit the ground in Tonpe, um, Madam Ambassador, I'm sure you will be very busy. What will your be what will be your priorities on the ground? Well, as usual, you know, and I've said this from day one, you know, the priority number one is to continue strengthening our relationship with the FSM. As you know, we have a very special relationship that dates back to, you know, World War II. Uh, but there are other areas that we've been working on. Uh, as you know, you know, we've been helping the FSM expand economic opportunities. You know, we're now working with the FSM on cybersecurity, seabed mining, renewable water sources, and other projects. Uh, you know, we're trying to increase uh, global trade and investment, especially with U.S. partners. Um, as you know, you know, environmental issues are also a key area of concern for me, as well as, you know, for the FSM. Uh, on the small scale, you know, my team and I, you know, have been working with local NGOs and we conducted several, you know, uh, trash cleanups to raise and maintain awareness of, you know, good environmental practices. On a larger scale, as you and, and our listeners have heard, uh, President Biden has, uh, you know, officially again, you know, we're part of the Paris Agreement, which we helped put together, you know, many years ago. So, you know, we look forward to working with the FSM and assisting and supporting uh, their efforts in countering climate change. Um, and you know, I mentioned a few minutes ago that you know we have a new USA country coordinator. This is a brand new position. Uh, Mr. Roger Garner, he is going to be joining us. He's going to be on the flight on May 13. You know, he's going to be instrumental in emergency preparedness and climate change programs. So again, there are many, many areas that are very important uh, to me, uh, strengthening the bilateral relationship, you know, climate change, uh, promoting and expanding economic opportunities. And there is one more. Uh, mm -hmm. For me personally, empowering women and girls. Mm -hmm. um, you might know that you know the FSM is one of the few countries in the world with uh, without uh, any women in its legislature, and you know we have over the last year, year and a half, we have worked on several initiatives in the area of developing and empowering women. Uh, we re recently received a 2.2 million dollar um, grant for women's economic development across the three freely associated states. It's not only uh, uh, the FSM but also Palau and the RMI. And we are working very closely with our partners there and with the International Office for Migration, IOM in the FSM. And you know, we have already started some training programs for women. Uh, we have also worked on other projects. Uh, I helped restart the Pompeii Girl Scouts and also participated in the Blackout Violence Pompeii campaign uh, last year and again this year to raise awareness about domestic violence issues and gender-based gender violence. We also donated computers and printers and books to the Pompeii State Public Library, to the Chuuk Women's Council, and to several elementary and high schools in Pompeii. And last but not least, I hosted discussions, panel discussions for key FSM stakeholders uh, where we discussed youth and women's engagement and empowerment in the FSM. So again, this is just, you know, in a nutshell, the areas that we've been focusing on over the last year and I look forward to continue working on as soon as I get back. Yeah.